This is a short uh, tutorial on how to use one of my favourite apps for creating books on your iPad called Book Creator. Now there is another app called Creative Book Builder which is uh, a really really good app but it's quite technical and quite complicated to use uh, and this is why I like Book Creator and prefer to use it with students over Creative Book Builder because of its simplicity. To show you how easy it is to use and to create a book in Book Creator, I've created a book already, it's only a short book, uh, and uh, I'm hoping that by showing you this, you can see how easily and quickly students could put together different aspects of work that they've made on their iPads into one central hub, and then show how that could be shared back to you as a teacher for assessment or checking or uh, what have you. So here's the book I've made on a product life cycle, um, and you can see that I've easily put in uh, a picture here which I can uh, resize if I want to. I can send that to back or uh, in front of the text if I want to. Um, you can put text in and what have you. And um, like with all apps, uh, I can just change the values on that if I want to. I can make it uh, bigger, smaller, change the font, the size, the colour, the alignment, so forth and so on. I can also, um, while I'm here, uh, change some of the aspects of the page as well. I can put a soundtrack on the book if I want to, for example. Going back onto the page then, uh, we can see that not only can I put in pictures, if I go to page 3, uh, you can see that I can put in videos. Uh, here is a video that I've made using Explain Everything and we can drop those in very very simply what we can also do is on our pages if we select an item and uh, we can if we want to actually um, add a um, recording and then add that recording to the image as a hotspot so I could if I wanted to add in a little audio clip on top of the image there so that when you tapped it in the book it would then play that um, little bit of audio and that's about it really you know what else would you want to do you could in, you can include um, your text you can include photos you can include video you can hotspot audio that you recorded yourself in as well um, and, and when it's done it's a really simple process uh, just a case of going onto your um, export arrow there and straight away you can see there are, there are loads of options for developing the work further if you want to for example by putting it into Creative Book Builder and adding to what you've already done if you have got Creative Book Builder that is if you wanted to use that um, but as a teacher um, you know what you want to be doing is getting that student better get that work to you nice and easily so you've got options there for iFiles which could open up into a web dev share you've got Dropbox if you're sharing Dropbox accounts you've got options as well uh, across on uh, Schoology if you're using that or um, something that I like in particular called Edmodo and you can share the iBook straight into Edmodo as well also don't forget Google Drive as well uh, another um, cloud-based tool that I know lots of schools are using for sharing documents as well. Nice and simple, cracking product, really easy for students to use. Have some fun. Thanks for listening.